Hello everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Uh, today we're taking a look at NVIDIA Shield. What we're going to be looking at today is an app called FPSE. This is a PlayStation emulator. Uh, what we're looking at here is a game called Tony Hawk. This is the original Tony Hawk Pro Skater. And uh, as you can see, it works extremely uh, smoothly, rather nice. Now what you can do with NVIDIA Shield is uh, work with lots of different games that work with uh, regular control, uh, physical controls like what you're seeing right here. What I've done right here is to load a ROM. We're going to go ahead and quit. We'll go back out to the beginning here just to show you how we do this from the start. Uh, I had to download a ROM. Now you can't download a ROM. Well, you can, but you are not supposed to download a ROM unless you own the actual game. I do actually own the game uh, for the original PlayStation uh, console, which I also own. Um, bought it back when it came out, way back in the 90s. Now, what you do here is you download this app for Android. Uh, this emulates a PlayStation, and then you go download a ROM. A ROM consists of several different kinds of files. Right here we see, go into here and load game. Uh, in this case, it includes a bin file and a Q file. When you download this game, this uh, file, you'll have to unzip it on your PC and then load it onto your, your uh, shield through an SD card or whatever you want to do. Now, I need both of these for this be this able being able to work. If I click on bin or Q, it'll work. It'll pop open like that, and it opens just like it would on the PlayStation. Now, some things that I want to do here are uh, get rid of the game. The right now it didn't show up because I've been doing it so many times, so it sets into uh, automatically being gone. But what I want to do here is go into settings, go to system. Actually, hold on. We'll go back to gamepad. Uh, gamepad type, and I want to do analog pad. That works best for shield, is analog, so it detects all of your keys right out of the box. Uh, and then you want to go to overlay gamepad, and go to gamepad skin, and go to disabled. You also want to go to gamepad tra transparency and go to disabled, just so it's not showing the gamepad on the screen, uh, because we'll be using physical controls anyway. So I'll back up. Propping right into the game here. There you go. Let's turn the volume up so we can hear it. This audio is coming from these two up-facing speakers here, by the way. play button here works as your start button, by the way. You can also see here that uh, the screen the screen isn't perfectly formatted. It is stretched out this way a little bit. You can adjust that as well, but I'm just going to skip it. Keep going with Jamie Thomas here. Everything works the same as it would on a PlayStation. You can choose your, your deck here. We'll go with this bird. Keep that all the same. We'll go ahead and go back here. Let's go to the warehouse. Why not?
There you go. Good stuff. Saves it like, like it normally would. Uh, saves to your regular memory, and you're good to go. You can play lots of different other kinds of PlayStation games as well. You can use other emulators, but it's all about Tony Hawk.